Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your weekly reading for February 26th through March 4th. Generally my weekly readings are love readings, but the last few have not really been so much about love, but we will see what comes up. Togetherness, compromise, communication, things turning in your favor, at coming out of the darkness, perhaps there's been some relationship troubles, okay, there's been some sort of relationship troubles, perhaps they're starting to dissolve. I see that many of you are probably going down a new path, starting a new journey, starting a new chapter. Maybe you've decided to um, make some compromises that uh, allow somebody in, you know what I mean? Because this is coming out of the darkness, this is seeing the light. But with that Ten of Cups reversed, there could be some sort of relationship problems I mean that's what that card says reversed it appears that there is some kind of dying dream maybe that's where you're coming out of the darkness maybe you're letting something go I mean that's this is the this is something going away in a relationship you may be feeling withdrawn at this time you may be feeling um, overly emotional maybe somebody maybe who somebody that you're dealing with has made a final decision on the relationship that you were in but it does it does open your eyes okay because you now see the light okay so i feel like there's a lesson that you know there's there's some kind of lesson here that you didn't want to learn or something because this world card is reversed all right when the world card comes out reversed it means that there's it is a lesson to be learned but you're refusing to learn it Okay, so this is a new beginning that needs to start. Now, that is connected to the, to the Wheel of Fortune card. So we have a couple of completions here. I see that you are probably being given a new journey, but you're not taking it. You know, you're giving, you are being forced. That's what it looks like. You're being forced to go down a new path and you're not happy about it. There could be a split. There could be a divorce. I mean, there could be. There could be talks of a split. There could be talks of talks of a turning away, breaking up. I mean, there, there certainly could be. You know, it appears to me that you you may be feeling very down in the dumps. You may be feeling like you don't want to do anything at this time. There could, you could have received, this could be communication. You've received communication that somebody wants to go a different route. They want to go a different course. They're changing their course. They're changing their mind. You know, and that even though, you know, it brings you out of the darkness because that's what happens. It, it really opens your eyes. I feel like, you know, it's it may not be what you wanted, okay? I feel like you didn't want this to end. You didn't want this completion. So it feels like there's a completion that you may not have wanted, okay? You may be feeling um, quite insecure at this time. You're probably feeling very, very, very stubborn. Um, or the other person, this could be the other person that is very hot-headed, stubborn, manipulative, controlling. Uh, you're dealing with somebody who is not focused on love. They were focused on security and stability and finances and money instead of love. And basically what you could offer them. I feel like what you could offer them, you know, and I know that many of you, especially the cross watchers, aren't going to like this. But I, I can see that it's, it's decision making time. And I feel like somebody has made a decision that you don't like and you know it's it's hurtful i feel like you're dealing with a very um greedy person 
who was not concentrated on love like you were. I think that you had the best of intentions and now your heart is broke. I mean, this reading is not going to be for everybody. I think that the, there has been some sort of communication that has been received that forces you to go in a different direction that you are not happy about. There could be some upcoming legal matters because of it. I feel like this is um, it's some kind of weight. You're, this weight, that it's, it's a heaviness. There's been some sort of heaviness around a relationship. And it feels as though somebody has taken the lead. They've done the right thing for themselves and they didn't consider you you know somebody is putting themselves first and i and i don't think it's you i think it's it's somebody else i think that you have there's that you ha somebody has been in denial here they haven't wanted to accept the truth and they're probably still not accepting the truth okay because that's what this ace of swords says somebody is not willing to accept the truth underneath this world card they don't want to hear the truth and you're probably giving me the finger and saying fuck you right now Okay, so you know what? That's fine. That's fine. So, um, anyway, somebody is not accepting the truth. They're being, they have been lied to. Okay, somebody was just interested in the security, the, the roof, or some, and then, and then, you know, this could even be codependency security. Somebody was just interested in what you could give to them okay and it feels as though now now it's come to a head and you are being forced to go down a new path maybe you don't like it it appears that there could be some relationship problems that come to light and now somebody is making a decision relationship problems that come to light and somebody is now making a decision to take action on these relationship problems and i feel like this person is not doing it very kindly they're doing it very harshly all right it appears to me that you know you are being called to go down a new path but you're not happy about it you're not happy that you are being forced to start over Okay, you're not wanting to start over, but it appears to me that you are going to be starting over whether you like it or not. Um, somebody is, has been lying and somebody has been in denial. Okay, and that's all there is to it. And I see that you're not very happy about it at all. This could be a very emotional week. Okay, um... Not wanting to be alone. I don't want to be alone. There is definitely a codependent nature here. I don't want to be alone. Please don't. Please don't leave me alone. You know that kind of energy. I don't want to be alone. Um, yeah, the devil reverse. You are being freed from some toxic situation, whether you like it or not. It was driven by greed and lust. And it's happening very harshly, okay? Whatever, whatever is happening, like I said, it's not somebody's not being very nice about it. I feel like there there could be some bitterness that that comes about from another person that is very hurtful, okay? I think you're dealing with a very hurtful situation this week, and I do apologize, but I'm not going to make this into butterflies and rainbows for you if it's not. Yeah, somebody has absolutely been in denial and the truth is coming out. They're seeing the truth. The truth is, is here. Okay? The truth is here and you can't deny it anymore. Some toxic situation is being brought to light. And you may have to stand up for yourself. It is going to be a struggle. It's time for you to let go of this devil energy, this devil, 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 devil that you have been pretending is an angel for so long. I think you're dealing with somebody who is very hard to love, bitter, intense, vindictive, Brash.
and you are being called to focus on your future, not the past. Higher your expectations. Realize what you really want in the future. There could have been a third party situation. I feel as though your ability to master your emotions this week is not strong. And I'm sorry to tell you that. With this strength card reversed and this card right here, which is you, reversed. Somebody's emotions are all over the place. I think that you are going to go through in a very emotional week where somebody does something that is very hurtful and it may force you on a new journey even though you don't want to go. This journey could be a home, could be with a partner, could be at work, could be with your family, could be in many different areas of your life. Either way, you're not going to let go easily. Okay? With the, with the hangman and the strength card, both reversed, you're not going to let go easily. And it's going to hurt. I see you resisting this change. You don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. But I feel like you've lost, there's been a loss of concentration, a lack of organization, a lack of working together. You're dealing with somebody who is very flighty. You need to use your mind and heart in this situation. Something was done impulsively. Somebody is trying to be controlling and things are out of control. And many of you are moving on or resisting moving on from a relationship, from happily ever after. This is a completion. And you're only concentrating on that. You're concentrating on the relationship that you have, that you had, your happily ever after. You're not seeing the other opportunities. That's the five of cups. This is you needing to see the other opportunities and stop looking at the loss stop looking at the hurt stop looking at the blood stop looking at the spill look at what's left look what else there is to offer I feel like you are going to go through some sort of loss this week that is very disheartening and it is going to be very hurtful. And I apologize. And, you know, I think that you have, maybe you've known about this, that this was coming and you've been blocking it out. You're probably going to feel very withdrawn at this time. Like, you don't want to talk to anybody. Thing is, is that you have a new beginning. This is, this is bringing you new growth. It's bringing you new fertility. It's bringing you a new opportunity. This suffering will not be in vain. It will not. This suffering is bringing you a new opportunity. It's bringing you new growth. It's bringing you new excitement. A new partner. A new, new, N-E-W, capital N, capital E, capital W. A new partner. This suffering, this heartache is bringing you a new partner. And I know you don't want to hear that. But you have to become single first or you have to love yourself first. You need to enjoy the finer things in life. You need to be happy. You need to be happy in all areas of your life before this happens. And you need to accept the truth. And that's hard. I feel as though swift changes are going to happen. And you may feel like you need to defend yourself.
and there could be a break in a commitment. That's the hair font reversed, okay? I feel like there is some sort of break in a commitment. This person has been blocking you. From moving forward. I think it's a time of release. Release. It absolutely is a time of release. This has caused you too much. It's caused you too many, too many sleepless nights already. You've lost sleep over this for too long, don't you think? It's time to release it. So that you can have an actual real commitment with somebody. Because there's no need for competition. There's no need to fight. There's no need to prove yourself. There's no need to resist this change. I see that you are reluctant. You're reluctant to let this go. But in the long run, it will bring you relief. I feel as many of you were involved in a third party situation that has caused a lot of unhappiness and it comes to light, somebody chooses somebody else and it's over and that hurts. This could be at work, you could, somebody else could choose somebody for a position and not you. This could be in your love life, this could be in the family. Where you're, you are not the chosen one. And I, I would choose you. Just saying. So, anyhow. Yeah, there's something that is going to happen. That causes a major upset. But it's absolutely a blessing in disguise. in mind this energy is fluid this could have already happened it could be happening this week could be happening next week could be happening in March so I would like you to watch this reading a couple of times after this to see when it resonates it may not resonate right now and a lot of people don't have enough common sense to realize that and that's why I'm mentioning it this is being recorded before the week And it boggles my mind, the lack of common sense that people have that this has not happened yet. Just thought I'd let you guys know. Reward yourself. You've been giving a lot of yourself lately, and it's time for you to receive a solid commitment. Make the time to reward yourself in a meaningful way. This balance of giving and receiving is essential to keeping your energy, mood, and motivation at a consistently high level. This card is shouting out to me, what do you deserve, Capricorn? A Capricorn. What the hell? Cancer. Cancer. I don't know where Capricorn came from. Maybe you're dealing with a Capricorn. But you do have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. You have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra. You mostly have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You do have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as well. So anyway, it appears to me that you guys deserve more than what you have right now. And that I consider this the universe. The universe is here to bring you a blessing disguised as bullshit. So um, this is what I have. Keep in mind, the time hasn't come. For some, it depends on when you watch this. But then there's people that lack the common sense to realize that. If you are in a happily ever after relationship, you shouldn't be watching this reading anyway. 
talk to you later.